And we're live. Good morning from Scotland. Blessings to you and all that's dear to you. I thought I'd make a short video and um, recently I've been having a lot of interesting conversations with members of the community. Some of them mentioning the words of grace and others mentioning what is spirituality and you know there's, there's many of the uh, lectures or, or books that I've read and ring bells and especially in the anthroposophical movement uh, with Rudolf Steiner's work. So here today, I'm hoping to share some insightful pieces with you. And to start with, I'd like to uh, read you this one. We must eradicate from our souls all fears and terror of what comes towards man out of the future. We must acquire serenity in all feelings and sensations about the future. We must look forward with absolute equanimity to everyone that may come. And we must think only that weather comes in giving to us by the world directive, full of wisdom. It is part of what we must learn in this age, namely to live out of pure trust without any security in existence. Trust in the ever-present help of the spiritual world. Truly nothing else will do in our courage is not to fail us and let us seek the awakened from within ourselves every morning and every evening. Now what I read to you was written in the 1920s, or 1925 to be precise. It was written by Rudolf Steiner and read in London and many other places. And what he's reminding us of is that we are here to renew our minds and not to fear this realm, this world, but to fear God. And if you're not fear, if you, if you don't have a good fear of God, then you're totally lost from God because you're obviously feeding things in this world. Now let me share some insightful pieces from the Holy Book, the Good News Book. <laughs> let me share you some good news, guys. So um, this this one um, is Luke twelve, and I feel that this is truly in these times, you know. So. He began to say unto his disciples, first of all, beware of ye leaving of the Pharisees, which is hypocrites. For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. Therefore, whatsoever ye have spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light, and that which ye have spoken in ear in closest shall be proclaimed upon the housetops. And I say unto you, my friends, be not afraid of them that can kill the body, and after that have no more that they can do. But I will forewarn you, whom ye shall fear. Fear him which, after he have killed, have power to cast you into hell. Ye, I say unto you, fear him, and not five sparrows sold for two farlings and not one of them is forgotten before God. But even, but even the very hair on your heed are all numbered. Fear not, therefore, ye are of more value than many sparrows. Also I say unto you, whosoever confess me before men, him shall, be, shall the Son of Man also confess before the angels of God. And whosoever shall speak of word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But unto him that blaspheme against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven. And when they bring you unto the synagogues and unto the magistrates and the powers, take ye not thought how or what things ye shall answer. Or what ye shall say. For the Holy Ghost will teach you in the same hour what ye ought to say. And one of the company said unto him, Master, speak to my brother that he divided the inheritance with me. And he said unto him, Man, who made me judge or a divider over you? And he said unto them, Take heed and beware of the controversy, for a man's life consetheth not in the abundance of things which he possesseth. And he speak a parable unto them, saying, 
The ground, the ground of a certain rich man, brought forth plentiful. And he thought himself, saying, What shall I do, because I have no room where to bestow my fruits? And he said unto him, This will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater, and there will be bestowed all my fruits and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, thou hast much good laid up for many years. Take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said unto him, Thee, thou fool, this night thou soul shall be required of thee. Then whose shall those things be which thou hast provided? So is he the la uh, leaf by treasure for him and is not rich toward God? And he said unto his disciples, Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat, neither for the body, what ye shall put on. The life is more than meat, and the body is more than raiment. Consider the raven, for there neither sow nor reap, which neither have stone house nor barn. The God feedeth them, how much more are ye better than the fowls? Anybody listening to this good stuff? And to finish up for you guys, and there's a few exciting more to come. And which of you, with taking thought, can add to his stature? One cubit? If ye then be not able to do that things which ye least, why take ye thought for a rest? Consider the lilies, how they grow. They toil not, they spin not. And yet I say unto you, that Solomon is all his glory was not arrayed like one of those. If then God so clothe the grass, which is today in the field, and tomorrow is cast unto the oven, how much more will he clothe you, O ye little faith? And seek not ye what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink, neither be ye a doubtful mind. For all these things do the nations of the world seek after, and your father knoweth that ye have need of these things. But rather seek ye the kingdom of God, and all things shall be added unto you. Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell that ye have, and give alms. Provide yourself bags which wax not old, a treasure in the heavens that falleth not, where no thief approacheth, neither moth corrupteth. Beautiful. For where your treasure is, there will your heart also be. Let your loins be grinded about, and your lights burning, and ye yourself like unto men that wait for their Lord. When he will return from the wedding, that when he cometh and knocketh, they may open unto him immediately. And I'm going to stop in just a second, guys. This is passage 37 in Luke 12. Blessed are those servants whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching. Verily I say unto you that he shall grind himself and make them to sit down to meet and will come forth and serve them. And if he shall come in the second watch, or come in the third watch, and find them so, blessed are those servants. Beautiful, guys. And, and I'll, I'll maybe put the link in the description. As a matter of fact, I will, so that you can continue on that beautiful passage. But uh, that, that's a very powerful one that's reminding us, you know, if, if you stick with the way of the world, the way of the nations, feeding certain things, searching for certain things, then you are getting yourself further away from God. I mean, the father of lies, he's so mentally screwed up in his head that even when he talks about something truthful, it's a lie. And this is why it's referred to as the father of lies or the flies, you know. And, um, your abilities to look beyond them is, is the key. And, and that's all we can do together, you know.
Um, let me share another exciting one for you. So James 4, 6. But he giveth more grace. Wherefore he say, God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Which one are you? I hope you're all humble. <laughs> you know, most of you are, my child. And another exciting one. Romans 12, 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind. And ye have proved what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Beautiful, guys. All for Synchronicities Discord was set up so that we could uh, share other YouTube links and keep notified when other videos came out. And the other day, uh, or rather this morning when I got up, um, Albert from God Unlimited, he released a fantastic video. And I, I'm going to put the link in the description below. Um, but I definitely recommend everybody listening to Albert. His, his joy and inspiration for today is truly profound. Um, without further ado, here we go. Doesn't matter what the news channel says, doesn't matter what the mainstream media says, doesn't matter what the world says, doesn't matter what the great expert says, doesn't matter what the ruler says, what Jesus says matters for you. And he is speaking to you right now and telling I'm releasing the Kairos moment, taking the miracle moment has come, receiving the healing moment has come and filled with the abundance of God moment has come and break free moment has come, the shift moment has come and now Nothing can stop what God started in your life. These times that we're living in truly are spiritual times. And, uh, you know, um, I, I've been very spiritual over the last decade, more so because of illness and sickness within the family. And um, on my journey, I've learned that spirituality is actually about healing the suffering, about healing those that are lost in their mind. And I think that's why I was drawing to the uh, to Rudolf Steiner's works and the anthropological movement, which I mentioned at the beginning. And today I'm going to finish up with some quotes um, that, that Steiner shared with us. And, and I, I kind of like this. And I'll put the link in the description again for you guys to read for yourselves. But love starts when we put aside our ego and make room for someone else. If we do not believe within ourselves this deep-rooted feeling that there is something higher than ourselves. We should never find the strength to evolve into something higher. Quite interesting, right? And it's, it's profound, it's truth. The times has come to realize that supernatural knowledge has now to arise from the materialistic grave. That which secures life from exhaustion lies in the unseen world, deep at the roots of things. Feelings are for the soul, what food is for the body. Guys, I love you dearly. I make these videos because I feel I can bless you, because I feel I can give you some inspiration in your life, and I hope that the um, world, Maya, the world illudery, is not causing you too much grief, and I hope that everybody continues to look forward to renew your mind. doesn't matter what obstacles are shown in your life, you know, some of you might be forced to face facing new jobs, loss of jobs, new homes, family members passing away. These are all about renewing our own mind and helping us to reach a higher state of self. Just remember, everything in this realm came from dust, thus it must go back to dust. So if we were here before the dust, then we're going somewhere else, guys. And for those that are lost and sleeping, it's a shame. And for you that are awake, it's beautiful, you know, and... I read every comment, I read every email you send me. If anybody wants to send me an email, it's john at allforsynchronicity.com. Link is always in the description. If anybody wants to interact with us on Discord, we're available on Discord for a short time period. Um, if anybody wants to book tarot card readings, you're very welcome to it as well. I'm going to wish you a lovely day. Lots of blessings to you and all that's dear to you from Scotland. God bless you. Love you dearly.